prove from first principle that the derivative of 6x is 6. So I'm going to do the first principle using classical method, which is we know that y equals 6x and also y plus delta y equals 6x plus delta x. Uh, if you're not sure how I got that, um, basically, let me just quickly sketch this. So it's, I'm not saying you should sketch this, I'm just using an example. Right, so if this is y and this is x, the first point I pick here on this y that's the first point, and that has a coordinate of x and y. So that's that one here. That's y and that's x. But I'm going to pick another point not far from each other. Well, this is linear, so you have to make it far. Um, and then I'm going to just trace that down. That would be x plus delta x, which means this is y so that'd be y plus delta y so i'm going to write i've written that equation for that so i'm going to write equation for that and that will be that plus so i'm replacing x with x plus delta x so that's how i got that okay because to find the gradient right the gradient is going to be that width and that height and that height is delta y and that width is delta x and you, you can see that if you take away that from that you get delta y and if you take away these from uh, if you take away that from that you get delta x and the gradient is delta y over delta x that's where we're going to delta y over delta x and so that's what we're trying to do here so uh i need to make delta y the subject because that's what i want so delta y so i need to expand that one so i get y plus delta y equals 6x plus 6 delta x and i need to make delta y the subject so delta y equals 6 6 x plus 6 delta x minus y delta y equals 6 x plus 6 delta x now y is 6 x so that's minus 6 x now we can see that 6x and 6 minus 6x six cancel out. Then we get uh, delta y equals 6 delta x. I need to divide both sides by delta x because that's where I'm going. I'm going delta x over delta, delta y over delta x. So delta y over delta x equals 6. In the limit, so say in the limit, delta x when it turns to zero delta y over delta x will tend to dy over dx so that's what happened in the limit we have to do that therefore dy over dx equals six that's how you derive it that's classical method the formula method is what I'm going to use now, which is common in textbooks these days. So instead of y, there's a f of x equals 6x, uh, f dash x, x, that is the y dx. And then you have to say in the limit where delta x or h if you like, delta x tends to zero, f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x so that's the formula we're going to use remember some books we write delta x as h so you'll be seeing h here h there and h there same thing and now, in this case, we go 6x, so that's 6x here for fx. 
and then we need to replace x with x plus delta x so we still have to say in the limit where delta x tend to zero x plus delta x put the bracket six there minus six x because x plus plus delta x if you're going to write that you're just replacing that so uh, f x plus delta x what does that equal to that equals six x plus delta x so i'm just putting that here i'm putting that here and i'm replacing that with six x divided by delta x or h and again in the limit delta x tend to zero so i need to expand that so that is 6x plus 6 delta x minus 6x over delta x now 6x we cancel 6x and then we have limit delta x tend to zero 6 delta x over delta x cancel out that equals 6 so that's still f of f dash x and finally we get uh, f dash x equals equals 6 and that's the derivative there that's how you do it so you can do that way or that way remember it doesn't have to be delta x you can put h here h there h so these are just replaced by h just remember that f dash x equals the y dx which can be written as y dot you see that in mechanics so the same thing basically so that equals six and that's how you do it from first principle